Inocente, I'm on the wind, say so you don't who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies Put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone It's solely my job in Salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community And give my opinion because my opinion matters Sorry about that, Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia First and foremost, don't forget to check out my second channel I did upload the reaction video to the Benny69 video And also, don't forget on this channel, we're doing $2,000 of a giveaway when we hit 200,000 subscribers I don't forget yeah, feel me? As soon as we hit that I'll be shipping it out <laughs> And for some reason The YouTube comments Are kind of glitching right now uh, I can still see your guys' comments But when you click on the videos It's only showing like a few Like 50 So don't be discouraged To keep commenting uh, I can still see your comments And it does help out The channel grow a little bit more But let's go ahead And get started With this week's Freak of the Week And it goes to With Panchito's raspy voice He's gonna be the third Armadillo twin <laughs> Do rag. Uh, now, the first thing that we're actually going to be talking about, did you guys see with Alondra Desi and Elsie Guayavera? Now, somebody had uploaded a TikTok about how, you know, they were doing, I think, like a kind of like eating mukbang kind of video. Miss Alondra was saying that she really can't beat herself uh, only with Miss Elsie. And this is what happened. Mike. You guys know what's funny? I feel like we act like this only with each other. I know. I feel like with other people, I can't act like this because they don't get my humor. Like, and they find us annoying. Yes. When we hang out with other people, they look at us like we're so annoying. I love the fact that I feel like I still act like a child. I read this in a book actually recently. When you still act like a child, it's not necessarily called immature. You're more healing your inner child because you never got to experience to be a child. Oh. And I was just like, damn, that I, it, it makes sense as to why both of us, we are still healing our inner child, so we still kind of act like a kid. Like, we just never got to experience a happy childhood. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not immature. I'm just, we're healing our inner child. <laughs> Zoming. So then a lot of people started saying, wait, 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 uh, uh, what about Benny Sullivancito? And people were speculating that maybe she doesn't feel as comfortable with Mr. Benny. And some people were just saying that maybe she just feels comfortable with her best friend. A lot of people were saying that, uh, why is it that she can't act like that with Mr. Benny? Do you guys think that maybe Benny gets upset when she's, you know, being goofy? And he's just like, stop, parale, pero ya, aplácate, aplácate ya. Yeah. Or do you guys just think that maybe she just feels more comfortable with her best friend? But my thing is, when you're in a relationship, especially if you have a kid with somebody, uh, you should be able to be yourself a hundred thousand percent. Yeah, feel me. You shouldn't really be hiding who you really are. If you want to check them, belt. <laughs> Te lo echas, and the person shouldn't say absolutely nothing if they love you. But do you feel me? That's the mindset that I have. But like I said, maybe she just meant to be goofy with her best friend. I don't know if she annoys uh, Mr. Benny. But make sure to comment down below as to what do you guys think of that situation. And did you guys see with Miss Let's Do Makeup? Now, she was actually going to be having a baby. My... You're coming home with me. Zoming. The baby did come out healthy. Yay! Congratulations to them. Uh, that's always good news. Yeah, feel me. You don't want to wish bad upon anybody. And like I said, the baby came out. You're good. You're good. So hopefully, you know, they're probably going to be shooting a lot more content with the baby. But ultimately, congratulations to them, like I said. And the next thing that we're actually going to be talking about, uh, this is a little bit of a shorter video because I only had like a little bit of cheese, man. Uh, but I'm trying to make a video for you guys because I've been off a few days. Now, I guess one of you guys reached out to Melody's and Nikki's real father. And you guys were asking him, you know, what happened? What happened? And he had this to say. Mike. So I'm gonna go ahead and Rosetta Stone it for you guys. They asked him the top, can I ask you some questions? And he said, yes. And then they asked him, what happened with you, Candy, and your daughters? Uh, it's been years. And he said, ha ha ha. And then they said, come on, don't be mean, don't be rude. And then he said, who actually sent you? Was it that Panchito dude? Ha ha ha. And I said, wait, what? Zamang. So he knows about the Panchito. And I said, que que. Yeah, feel me. When I seen that, I said, mentado Pancho. Now look, if you're watching this video, I don't know if he speaks English or not. Uh, si está 
estás viendo este video y me quieres mandar mensaje, aquí estoy, brother. Uh, now to translate that for my non-Spanish speakers, I basically said, uh, if he wants to send me a message, give me some information, you're good, you're good, I won't tell nobody. And for the world news, did you guys see Mother Russia is actually making some moves? I think they're trying to go full throttle with Ukraine. And I saw an update that people who are 18 and 65 men in particular, uh, they cannot buy an airline ticket to say, I'm out skis. <laughs> They're gonna have to stay there uh, in case they need to be needed for war. Now, can you imagine you don't even want to go to war and you can't even buy an airline ticket to say, I'm out? Uh, my prayers do go out to all the Russians, yeah, feel me, and the people in Ukraine. I, I really hope it doesn't lead to uh, another war. We need to fix the climate before we start trying to fight with each other, yeah, feel me? That's our, that should be our number one priority for the whole world. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Remember to check out my second channel, subscribe for that $2,000 giveaway, follow my social medias, and I really do appreciate you guys. Este es por las energías. Claro, si tú te das cuenta, todo es por las energías de la gente. Mira, dicen, ay, ya es 19, no vaya a temblar. ¿Qué pasa? Pues tiembla, claro, claro, tiembla. Porque nosotros mismos lo estamos, lo estamos atrayendo con nuestros pensamientos y con lo que estamos diciendo. Ay, es 19, no vaya a temblar. ¿Qué pasa? Pues tiembla, claro, claro. No, yo estaba acá arriba y de repente escucho y dije, ah, no, 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 no creo que se les haya activado otra vez por error, ¿no? Entonces, no, me bajé así en friega y ya me puse ahí. Sí, sí, sí. No es que dices, oye, otro 19 de septiembre, o sea, ¿qué onda? No, no el mundo nos está queriendo decir algo muy importante y no le estamos haciendo caso. ¿No?